Montpelier, Vermont is a town that has famously and proudly supported local businesses. In fact, it's the only state capital in the U.S. without a McDonald's. But don't let its small size deter... Uh, it's also the smallest capital city in the nation. But don't let its small size deter you. Montpelier is one of the most happening cities in Vermont. It's a wonderful place to explore on foot or on bicycle. As you stroll around the city, you'll find a scene that's bursting with alluring culture, excellent food, pleasing art, and rich diversity. Join Viewcation as we take a look at this often overlooked town and see what makes it such a worthy vacation destination. Take a hike along the Camel's Hump Trail. If you're in the mood to stretch your legs and see a bit of Montpelier's natural beauty, consider taking a hike out to the Camel's Hump. To get a better idea of this path's size, the trail sprawls on for several miles while passing through the heart of downtown on your way out to Duxbury. These two towns are approximately 12 miles apart, so obviously there's plenty to see. But don't let its length hold you back. Along your journey, you'll be treated to phenomenal views of the Camel's Hump. During the winter months, you can cross-country ski along the snow-covered trails as well. Visit the State Capitol Building Nestled in a patch of gorgeous trees and featuring a stately golden dome, this is one of the top architectural attractions to visit in the entire state of Vermont. The State House was built in the mid-1800s and is an architectural wonder. Guided tours are available during the spring, summer, and early fall, allowing you to get an up-close look at its interior. School field trips often can be seen touring the facility, but it's a perfect place for guests of all ages. Go for a stroll around Hubbard Park. This enormous green space, located in Montpelier, covers nearly 200 acres and was first opened for the public's enjoyment in 1899. It's pretty close to the State House, so you could easily squeeze both of these destinations into the same day. Inside the park, you'll find the Hubbard Park Tower, one of the most intriguing attractions in the region. It can be found high atop a hill, and there's a nice trail that leads you there. The entire park is lovely, and you could easily spend an afternoon here, enjoying the flora and fauna, having a picnic, getting lost in the woods, or simply spending some time in the natural world. Grab a jug of maple syrup at Bragg Farm Sugar House. Over at Bragg Farm Sugar House, they've been pumping out maple syrup for decades. Like many other vineyards and farms in the state, Bragg is family-owned and operated. The key to its success over the years has been its rich and inviting feel. During the peak season, the Braggs will sometimes do public presentations, complete with lectures and videos, that detail the process of maple syrup production. And when you visit, don't forget to make a pit stop at their gift shop, where you can nab a box of premium maple candies. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like, and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already, and stick around to find out more of Montpelier's best. Catch a show at Lost Nation Theater. Theater lovers' imaginations will come alive over at this quintessential Montpelier establishment that's dedicated to preserving the fine arts without all the pretentiousness that usually goes along with that sort of thing. This local theater has been a community staple for a quarter century now and has routinely been included on lists of the top theaters in New England. According to their website, what makes Lost Nation so special is their long-standing and resolute commitment to presenting plays that illustrate the hopeful possibilities of human interaction. Tour North Branch Vineyards There are very few vineyards in the Montpelier area. There are even few that have been owned and operated by a single family since their inception. What sets North Branch Vineyards apart is how the owners are so warm and pleasant to interact with. They have an abundance of knowledge on winemaking and know how to make visitors feel right at home. This vineyard solely uses the grapes they grow on site to produce their fine wines. Some of their most notable varietals include their River's Edge Red, Save All Blanc, and La Cresson. The vineyard's tasting room is open to the public as long as guests are of legal drinking age. Get lost in the past at the Vermont History Museum. The Vermont History Museum is a history buff's dream come true. Hands-on exhibits, educational displays, and countless artifacts can be found on each floor, and a tremendous amount of Vermont's heritage is preserved at this expertly curated space. If you have time to kill, stop to learn about the Abenaki native population that has helped mold Vermont into what it is today. You'll learn about the state's industrial and economic history as well. Appreciate the fine arts at T.W. Wood Art Gallery. This local institution recently relocated to its new location on Bar Street. It features a medley of permanent and rotating exhibits, offering a virtual treasure trove of art for connoisseurs to take in. It was originally established in 1895, and since then, it has remained dedicated to showcasing and preserving Vermont's artistic heritage. Within its walls sits the most extensive permanent collection of art in the state, including Vermont's portion of the esteemed federal WPA collection. Participate in a pottery workshop at Montpelier Mud.
Vermont has long been a haven for artists, and Montpelier has always been a key player in this tradition. If you've ever wanted to learn pottery from the master of the craft, consider taking a class over at Montpelier Mud. Courses are held throughout the year, allowing for just about anyone to create their own unique piece. Different workshops covering various techniques are offered. We recommend, if you've never tried out pottery making before, taking their beginner's wheel-throwing class. While it's a little pricey at $230 a head, it's definitely a crash course that's worth every penny. Workshops are held at various times throughout the day, from early in the morning to late at night. So regardless of your itinerary, you'll still be able to get your hands dirty and mold up your next masterpiece. Take a selfie at the Coburn Covered Bridge. A covered bridge is a timber truss bridge featuring a roof, decking, and siding. And Vermont is known for being home to many of these vintage beauties. One of the prettiest in the state can be found right in Montpelier. The Coburn Covered Bridge is one of the most aesthetically pleasing and photo-worthy bridges in all of Vermont. Even though it's not painted bright red like so many other similar covered bridges in the state, the worn and weathered wood beautifully contrasts with the woodland backdrop that it rests in front of. It's especially beautiful during the fall months when the leaves are putting on their annual colorful show. The bridge was built in 1851 and has been open ever since. Historically, Montpelier had several other covered bridges peppered across its countryside, but this is the only one that still stands. If you're traveling in a vehicle, you can still drive across this bridge as well. Refuel at Kismet Kitchen If you don't mind spending a bit more than usual on a bite to eat, this restaurant features some of the finest cuisine in the city. It's a perfect spot for date night, and you and your significant other will be able to sample a variety of fine wines while enjoying the many delicacies featured on their menu. It's the pride and joy of a chef named Julie Poder, who worked as a personal chef for years before opening her own restaurant. She sources most of her ingredients locally and isn't afraid to experiment a bit when coming up with her adventurous menu items, although classic dishes like steaks and salads are also on offer. Try the ice cream at Wayside Restaurant. At Wayside Restaurant Bakery and Creamery, not only will you find a full menu packed full of delectable and affordable entrees and starters, but you'll also be treated to some of the best ice cream in New England. Wayside has been a staple of Montpelier since 1918 when it first opened its doors, and it's only increased in popularity since then. You might have to wait a bit for a table, especially on busier nights, but the experience you'll have here is well worth the wait. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorites in Montpelier? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Viewcation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.